The family of Riley Strain, of course, the college student from Missouri who went missing from downtown Nashville, found weeks later in the Cumberland River, now pressing for more answers. This morning, the Metro Nashville Police Department confirms that information to News 2. Peyton Kennedy joins us from police headquarters with the questions and what they had to say about it. And Neil, it is clear from this that both the family and the MMPD are still working to learn more information about what exactly happened to Riley on that night. And we have just learned that a new interview happened with a person who was along the riverfront on the night that Riley went missing. And a second person in that location was re-interviewed. So that person is the last known individual to say he saw Riley before his disappearance and he was able to give police a statement. Riley Strain's family friend Chris Dingman spoke with News Nation yesterday and says that is huge. Dingman also says there are at least three more cameras downtown that could help the investigation, but they have not seen this footage. Here's more from Chris Dingman on the significance of all of this. The reason that footage is so incredibly important to the family is the person of interest that the family had been wanting to see, the homeless person that we knew had been the last person to talk to Riley up on top of the roadway, we got to talk to finally. Uh, he actually reached out Saturday afternoon to some friends of ours that was down there talking with the homeless, uh, actually gave a statement, uh, him and another person that Riley had come through there, uh, had been stumbling, possibly stumbled into the little fence that's right there. They asked him if he was okay. He says, yeah, man, I'm just drunk, something along those lines. And they put him walking underneath the bridge north, passed through the detention center area. That was huge. The building on the other side of the bridge that Riley crossed under is the Birch Building. The MMPD says that there is no surveillance video that shows Riley's movements there. They say there's no video confirmation whatsoever that Riley passed beyond the bridge. The MMPD says Riley's death is still presumed to be accidental pending the medical examiner's autopsy report. Now, Chris Dingman, the family friend, also says that they, they have had very minimal conversation with the people who were out with Riley that night. He says that their question Questions to them have been deflected and gone unanswered. Live in Nashville, Peyton Kennedy, News 2.